Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to start new series of my technical lectures on my YouTube channel that is regarding the Kali Linux. Now before we go with the installation part, I can say that this is the part one or you can say the first video of my Kali Linux series in which I will be demonstrating you how to install Kali Linux on VirtualBox. Before we go on how to install Kali Linux on VirtualBox, let us first of all know what is actually meant by Kali Linux. Kali Linux, as you know, that it is again a flavor of Linux as we have Red Hat Linux, as we have Ubuntu Linux, but it is a different Linux which is derived from Debian operating system and it is specially designed for digital forensics and penetration testing. And this project was being funded and maintained currently by Offensive Security Limited by Matty Aharoni, Devon Karnans and Raffle Hadzok. These are the three core developers which are basically behind the mind for the development of Kali Linux. Kali Linux is not basically a Linux distribution but it is basically designed professionally for doing penetration testing and it is also not very user friendly. If we talk of Kali Linux, it is having more than 600 penetration testing programs, including various like Nmap, like uh, John the Ripper, Aircrack for hacking some wireless networks, how they can be doing, I will be covering in my later videos. And you can see that the latest release has been released, that is Kali Linux version 2016, which was released about 21 days ago on 21st of Jan 2016. And the kernel type which is used in this Kali Linux is monolithic kernel, and we will be using Genome 3. Now before we begin with the installation, I let me first of all tell you that if you go to google.com and if you type in Kali Linux and press enter, you can find this is the main website that is called Kali.org. So I have already opened this website for you and now you can find all the details of Kali Linux, etc, etc, all the tutorials also on this website. So if you can click on this word called downloads, you can click on this download Kali Linux. And now you can just for first click on this ISO image that is called a 64-bit or 32-bit. And let me tell you that Kali Linux is not only available for, uh, you can say for laptops or for anything, but it is also available for BeagleBlown, it is available for Chromebook, it is available for Raspberry Pi. I have already covered one video for Raspberry Pi in which I have already demonstrated how to install Kali Linux on Raspberry Pi. It is also available for Galaxy Note 10.1 and even SS808. So in this video, I will be downloading this version and I will be telling you how to install Kali Linux on VirtualBox. So you can click on this ISO or you can click on this torrent and the size is about 2.6 GB and the latest version is 2016.1. So I'm going to install the ultra latest version release of Kali Linux in this video. So if you can click over here, you can find, so I've already downloaded it on my desktop. If I double click over here, you can find that this is the ISO image. This is another file which is regarded as a security certificate file. So if I right click on this file and click on properties, you can find this is about 2.74 GB of size. So a handsome size because it is a very widened used operating system with much and much of utilities. So let's uh, start with the installation part without wasting time. So let me minimize and now let me double click on my virtual box. So now you can see that the virtual box has started. So I will be giving you detailed step-by-step -step instructions. It is very easy to understand. It is very easy to install. And believe me, in my coming videos, I will also be sharing some of the hands-on hands experience on Kali Linux. I will be also demonstrating what are some websites through which you can even consult about learning Kali Linux. So let us go and click on this button that is called new. So let me type the name Kali Linux. So now you can see that it has changed the type to Linux and version Linux 2.6 oblique 3.x oblique 4.x 64-bit. So as such, you can find that there is no Kali Linux which is uh, oh, available in VirtualBox. So there is no need to worry. So click on next. Now, this is the most important part because Kali Linux is a somewhat called a heavy Linux. So what I recommend is to give at least 2 GB RAM. So in my laptop, you can find it is 8192. It is about 8 GB RAM. So I don't mind giving it 2 GB or even 3 GB. So I recommend to give it at least 2 GB. So I type 2048, which is about 2 GB of RAM. So click next. And now you can find you have to create a new virtual hard disk. So click on create. So I will take this format that is VDI, that is virtual box disk image. So it is a normal and uh, you can say straight format for installing Kali Linux. So click next. So dynamically allocated. So there is no need to worry. Click next. 
So now you have to give the file location and size. So I just type the file location over here. That is, I go to my E drive. I'm having my uh, virtual machines installed over here. So let me give you another folder that is called Kali Linux version 2016. So let me install and save over here. So now this is another part uh, that is called, uh, it is about allocated 8 GB on the default. So I recommend at least 25 GB to be given because 8 GB will not be sufficient to install and have hands-on experience on Kali Linux. So let us click on this uh, button called create. So now you can see that all the settings have been done, but the optical drive is empty. So no need to worry, just fire on this machine and we will be giving us the ISO image. So click start. So now you can find that it is demanding the startup disk because as you know that there is, should be some source through which we can install the Kali Linux. So let us click on this button and let me browse to my desktop. So go to desktop and now you can find over here and now there is an ISO image. So click open and click on start. So let me close and click on view and full screen. So this is the first you can say, uh, it's a very important quote which we can read, the quarter you become, the more you are able to hear. So it's a very important quote and we must follow if you want to learn. So the beginning of wisdom is, I don't know. So let us go and you can even have the experience of live, uh, you can say forensics, live, uh, uh, you can say without installing, you can have the live experience of Kali Linux. So I will be installing, so I will be giving you very simple steps. So just go and uh, downstairs and go to this option that is called graphical install and press enter. So very simple steps, no need to worry, it's not a rocket science. Uh, no matter, it is having somewhat, you can say, typical graphical user interface, but uh, if you can understand all these steps, it, it is very easy for you to become a very good penetration tester. And believe me everyone, penetration testing is having a very good career in India and also abroad, so you can say no worry about the career and money. So click on this English, click on continue. So where is the territory? So I'm living in India, so I click on India and click continue. So configure the keyboard. I will be taking the default that is American English. It's a default keyboard, so no need to change. So click continue. So now it is loading some components from the CD. So Kali Linux takes about 15 to 20 minutes properly with the manual settings as well as setting up whole of the system with the pre-installation, installation and post-installation. So it is detecting the network hardware. So as it is uh, finding the local link and it is attempting for IPv6, but we don't require IPv6, it will be taking uh, inbuilt IPv4. It will be starting from 10 series. So it is configuring the network with DHCP. So everything almost automatic, 60% automatic, 40% we have to give the default settings. <clears throat> so let us wait for the next screen. So now it is uh, demanding the hostname entry. So hostname should be default Kali. So I click on continue. And again, it requires me to give the hostname. So I only prefer to take it as Kali. You can take your name, you can take any name, but I preferably be take it as a Kali. So click continue. So now you have to provide a good root password. So I type in a secure password over here. So the password is being set. So click on continue and now it is setting up the to uh, clock from network time server. So now we have to provide the hard disk on which we will be setting up the installation. So you can find that there are four options which have come guided using uh, use entire disk, guided use entire disk and set up LVM, guided use entire disk and set up encrypted LVM and manual. So if you are an expert user, you can click on manual and you can click continue. But for you purple, because I believe that you are the starters and for even everyone, I can say that you can use the first option in which the Kalinix will automatically partition the disk and give you the best experience. So just just leave the default option as the first option to be clicked on. No need to change this option and click continue. So now it has rejected my disk. As you know that I have already provided it about 25 GB. So it rejected about VBOX and hard disk. So click on continue. 
so you can find that this is another partition on which you will be giving all the file systems partition on one partition so I recommend it for new users so click continue so almost you can say that I am taking all the default options only so click on finish partitioning so click on continue you can find this has been partitioned so primary is about 25.7 GB ext4 and swap partition swap is like a virtual memory for Linux so click on continue so it has uh, prompted me write changes to the disk so now you have to just check it yes so that we can partition the disk and we can start with the installation part so click continue so it has formatted and now you can see that it is installing the system so now it will take about uh, 10 to 15 minutes to install so till it installs let us pause the video for some time so now we can see that it is almost on the verge of completion of uh, Kali Linux so now it has asked to configure the package manager so it has required me to use a network manager so I can just click on yes or you can click on no so I can just uh, you can say click on continue so we can use it as a network manager or you can you go back or you can click it no so it is okay for us so let us click yes and click continue so it is configuring the package manager now you can take any option either yes or either no and uh, if you talk of the time which has taken it to install it has taken about 10 to 15 minutes because 2 GB RAM is enough so it's a genuine time I can say so now it is configuring the package manager let us again pause the video so now you can see that it has uh, taken the option to install the grub bootloader on hard disk so I have to install the grub bootloader to the master boot record grub stands for grand unified bootloader which is the bootloader to boot the Linux so we just click on continue so we can just select this hard disk and click continue so we are almost on the verge of completion of Kali Linux and now you can see that it is finalizing the installation so we'll not pause anything so now let it happen and we then see the graphical user interface and then we open the terminal and uh, see the IP address of this machine you can even make uh, your laptop or your computer as a penetration testing lab by just installing Kali Linux on uh, VirtualBox and installing two or three Windows operating system etc for that so you can see that installation is complete and it is time to boot into your new system so click on continue so let's wait for a while and it is removing some live packages so making the penetration testing lab will not be a difficult task for all of you just install this Kali Linux and install two or three Windows 7 machines and just start those machines and Kali Linux at one at the same time but believe me uh, RAM should be very good very very good at least 8 GB RAM I recommend or 16 GB is very very good so it is again taking some time so now the system has started booting and now we can see that there is other two options that is Kali Linux GNU and advanced options for Kali Linux so just keep the first option and press enter so in a few couple of seconds we will be greeted with a graphical user interface and I will be showing you the first you can say interface of Kali Linux the latest version of 2016 which is being launched last month on 21st of Jan 2016 And voila we can see the screen now anytime yes the mouse has come so let's wait yes so this is the screen so just I have typed the username as root and the password which I give which I have set during the installation so click on sign in 
So we will be greeted with genome 3 desktop. So almost the same Linux commands we can run because we know that it is Linux so it is based on POSIX so each and every command will be same. So this is main interface of Kali Linux. So you can right click and you can click on open terminal. So if I type in the command that is if config you can find that we are being provided the address that is 10.0.2.15. So it is the IP address if we go for the ping that is ping google.com you can find that it is pinging and the machine is working very fine. So you can see that in this video I have made you learn how to install Kali Linux, what is Kali Linux all about. So we will be bringing more videos on Kali Linux in the near future. So do give it a shot, do download this Kali Linux and do install it and make your system a penetration lab system. So I hope you enjoyed this video so do give this a like.